this FFPC Best Ball Final Draft Edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast. It's presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted parlays to in-game odds on every major sport, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today to receive a $500 risk-free sports bet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by PropSwap. America's number one app to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit and receive up to $500 in bonus cash. That's propswap.com, promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by PixWise. PixWise is the number one home of free sports betting picks. Visit PixWise.com to make your next bet better. We're also brought to you by Odds Crowd. Are you the best football better in the United States? Odds Crowd challenges you to prove it with their free to play fantasy betting contest. Over $30,000 up for grabs over the season. Go to oddscrowd.com to sign up. And of course, don't forget to download the SGPN app. SGPN is giving you a chance to win $100,000 NFL Week 1 exclusively on the SGPN app. Ooh, welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking that money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Fucking go! It turns out we have more uh, best ball drafts <laughs> to fulfill our quota for this off season. It, it's just Brian, Sean. Brian, last Sunday, bonus podcast my, after bonus <laughs> podcast. Last Sunday, we can call the off season. By the way, yes. Last see, I, well, I, I'm saying this is week one, but we're gonna get we're gonna squeeze in one more fantasy draft. I think a lot of people are probably drafting on Memorial Day. Maybe get one more. Uh, draft podcast in your system before you fire it up and get in the draft. And we're, if you're listening to this live, uh, which uh, hopefully you are, hopefully you're in the uh, YouTube channel because we are going to be randomly drawing oh, a winner. No, Ryan, we're giving away $1,900 in FFPC <laughs> credits. Uh, hopefully That's- you entered. All you got to do is uh, take a screenshot of you reviewing either the app or one of our many podcast feeds, a, a screenshot of you submitting it. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com. There's a form there. Click it and uh, submit it, and you'll be good to go. I think what we'll do is at the end of the show, Ryan, and give people a chance, remind them if they hop in late to get the reviews in. But uh, yeah, we'll announce it at the end of the show. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Google a random number generator. You tell me how many between min and max, and then I will. I will generate. So we'll we'll do a test run here. One and a hundred. I'm hitting the generate button. 71. So whoever is 71 on the Google Sheets would be the winner of that FFPC $1,900. Wow. Which, Sean, uh, was good enough for a main event entry. Yeah. Uh, and, and plenty of best ball entries still available. We're going to be doing a live best ball here. But of course, it's NFL Week 1. It is upon us. Make sure you head over to WinBet, W Y N N B E T. Get that $500 risk free sports bet. We're going to be broadcasting live all week coming up later in the week from the beautiful win in Las Vegas. Can't be at the win to hang out with us and lay some bets in person. Don't worry. The win bet app has you covered legal in a bunch of states. Another state coming soon, Ryan. So stay tuned uh, for that. If you're in the state of Arizona, you may want to uh, be circling around on that win bet app. They got player props in game wagering, which you just watched that UCLA Notre Dame game. That was a fun game. To get involved in some live wagering, we uh, we just had a uh, a really fun. Uh, I I had a, a nice live uh, in-game wagering experience during that UCLA game. But again, head over to winbet.com w i n n b e t dot c o m to win big. And uh, yeah, we uh, we had some nice nice bets, Ryan, from the College Football Podcast. We bet. See, Save most of that for the week two college football podcast, but of course, uh, you know we went there. Tailgate was a bunch of fun. If uh, any of our new friends from the UCLA UCLA uh, tailgate are is listening, uh, what's up, guys? Go Bruins! I told you to take the Bruins Bruin. money line. Hopefully, you guys got down on that. Gave out a bunch of beers, bunch of lighters. Uh, one of us may have been ejected from the Rose Bowl. Yeah, it was, it was a great time. Uh, yeah, sure, one of us. <laughs> One of us. I mean, You'll have to guess which one of us was yelling about the East Carolina Pirates <laughs> to the point that we they yeah. got ejected from the game. Eighty percent of us watched the victory. 
<laughs> it was uh it was it was a fun time. Sean, yes. four minutes until post time. Okay, four minutes until post time. Ryan, what uh what draft position are you? Uh oh man, I'm number one. Number one and horrible. We're, Hate we're, it. We're in a uh we're in a big money uh tournament draft uh tomorrow. And that one's kicking off. We also have the number one slot. So I was I was going you know, I do have Dalvin Cook higher in my rankings, but Ryan, you're overruling me, insisting I, we get draft Kitchen McCaffrey, which I'm fine with as long as we also get Chuba Hubbard. Uh, yes, so we will probably want to do that. I, I I don't know. I I don't I don't really like the pick, but when you look at it, the fact that he could potentially outscore Dalvin Cook by 10, 20 percent, it makes you, you you would feel silly to not take the guy. Maybe it's maybe it's getting a little too cute. All right, we're gonna be kicking off this draft. Uh, over at myffpc.com, use the promo code SGP, get twenty five dollars off your first entry. And if you're if you're stream if you're streaming live, doing it live, still time to get in those contest entries. While we're waiting for the draft to begin, want to shout out PropSwap.com. Brian, you know I'm going to be loading up some tickets over at the win, and then maybe I'll be uh, listing some of them over at the newly. Ooh. Launch PropSwap.com. You can filter tickets based on value to find the best odds available. Browse the activity feeds. Stay in the know. They have a loyalty rewards program. Again, if you love sports betting, you need to be using PropSwap. Again, the awesome part about PropSwap, you don't need to win money. All you need to have is is for the odds to improve. It's pretty awesome. If you're buying or selling a sports uh, betting uh, ticket, you got to do it over at PropSwap. PropSwap is where America buys and sells sports bets. I'm in the number four spot. Who do you think is available for me at number four, Ryan? This anyone is FFPC you, rules. Anyone you want. I, I mean, I, and you know, one and a half point PPR. I may have to positional value. I may have to take Travis Kelsey there. I mean, basic. It seems like at this point, consensus for Kelsey in the main event is at least is three. Really? Uh, it seems like the consensus for Darren Waller is in like the the nine to ten range. He's probably gone. So. Uh, you, you certainly, if Kelsey's there, I think you got to grab him. I think it's a, I think when you're talking about one and a half points per reception, uh, I was even uh, discussing with one of the guys I, I split a team with. Like, I, I kind of want to end up with one of my main event teams to have two premium tight ends, like two mm. of the top six guys. That's crazy. Um, but I guess it makes sense at the one and a half point again, PPR. Uh, th- with Kelsey and Waller, you have guys that are getting wa- these wide receiver like numbers and they get that extra half point for every catch. It's almost unfair. Yeah. No, that makes sense. One minute and 17 seconds to post, Sean. Let's go. Which, by the way, shout out to our Zed horse. Yes. Dusted, dusted that <laughs> thing off today. <laughs> ETH is skyrocketing. So I was like, oh, you know where I got a bunch <laughs> of uh, ETH kicking around? Let's, let's, let's get this old. Uh, Sold YouTube uh, the old uh, Zed Run horse. Hell yeah! Dusted her off, and we we've talked about it, Ryan. We haven't followed through, but having our boy Malcolm call some live Zed runs, uh, we got to get this going. Yeah, we, we got to circle back on that right in the middle of NFL <laughs> season. Perfect time for that. Well, come on, you know, has, random random Tuesday night. Sean, we can get some. You're we, not you're not watching Zed. You're breaking down film. That is true. I will be in the uh, Ryan. What are we doing for our war room situation? I figured we would just do it in here. We have screens galore. Yeah. Gives us or the maybe ability. Uh, maybe God's eye, AKA our eight TV setup, which is really, it was really tough getting Colby to leave the office to go to <laughs> a college football game where we had good seats. We had a bunch of free booze, bunch of uh, interactions with a bunch of characters, including some LSU fans. It, yeah, was, uh, LSU, it was a fun time. LSU fan ran like he bet me a thousand dollars. Kind of bet me a thousand dollars. Like it was one of these things where I didn't want to bet the guy, but he was being kind <laughs> of like he was trying to alpha me. And it's like, look, bro, if you're trying to alpha, alpha and alpha, I'm gonna take your money. Uh, never gonna see that guy again. All right, I'm on the clock. Christian Sean. McCaffrey, number one overall. Are you doing it, Ryan? And it's done. The deal has been done. Uh, I don't have a ton of teams with Christian McCaffrey. Now, if you are in our live $125 FFPC tournament, let us know uh, what your username. Beer guy 27. I know that's my boy uh, Cody, and uh, I, I'm sure he's in here. So if you if if other guys are in here in the chat, hit us up. All right, I'm on the clock. Okay, Alvin yeah, see, Kamara Kelsey went twice. Alvin Kamara, oh. Kelsey went wow, and 
now number one in my <laughs> rankings. Oh. I'm getting Dalvin Cook at the four spot. Are you Beautiful. kidding me? Beautiful. Pick. Love how the uh, draft is uh, following to us. Ooh, Andrew Rab, friend of the program. He's in here. He's sitting all the way down at the 11 spot. That's normally kind of where end of the end. 10, 11, 12 is, is I think kind of my yeah. ideal drafting position. And boom, Waller goes fifth. I mean, Jesus Christ! Again, with a one and a half point per reception, and yeah, I mean, th- I think they have uh, plenty of entries left in this show. I'll, I'll, be, I'll definitely be doing some best ball drafts over the next couple of days. Uh, I thought this might be the last one. It, it won't be. We'll, no, we'll right. do a couple. Don't more. kid yourself. We'll do a couple more. Derrick Henry goes. That's crazy that Darren Waller. Uh, again, it makes sense when you do the math. On the uh, value you know, over replacement point, uh, PPR, Tyreek Hill goes. It feeling feeling pretty chalky. Nothing too shocking. Although I do think getting Dalvin Cook at the four is is pretty shocking. Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap, Sean. Wake me up when it's my pick. <laughs> you have you have a while to go, Ryan. Saquon goes. You got to be excited about that. Is he? Uh, have, have they announced him as the week one starter? Stop it. Because in your uh, no, I'm serious. Is there Stop is there gonna it. be a just is there going to be an announcement? Save the drama for your mama, Sean. <laughs> Get out of here with my your mom, nonsense. My mom is a low drama woman. You know uh, that. Uh, she, yes, very low drama. Uh, I mean, look, he's going to be out there. The off everyone's going to be out there, Sean. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be a, a, a cornucopia of points and offense. Jason Garrett's just going to show us the new look, the modern day <laughs> offense. <laughs> Devonte Adams uh, goes and uh, Craig, uh, who did uh, who did Andrew Rob draft Ryan? Are we gonna put the uh, digs? Oh, do I not have the board up? You do not have the board up. People you know do what? not like that oh when you don't. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry. This guy's an go. amazing uh, name, Slipping Jimmy. All right, I think everyone should be able to see the board at this. Point. Now Austin Eckler is uh, is available. That is, uh, I mean, getting him would be uh, pretty sweet. I mean, uh, Slipping Jimmy's at the end of the first round here. I would just go Austin Eckler, Aaron Jones. I, I I think, although Calvin Ridley's there too. Najee Harris is a guy that's been moving up my boards. I I don't think I would take him here. What are you trying to get, Kramer? Now this is good. This is a good conversation to have because, you know, we're not doing FFPC. We're doing Yahoo. But uh, what would you be looking for at the end of the second round if you're drafting first? I mean, I think if you go McCaffrey, you got to go. Double pass catcher. Unless a running back slips to you, I'm gonna go double pass catcher mm. because I, I well, especially in the the ETH the, the format we we were discussing for the ETH league where I think it, we confirmed it's only ten teams, correct? Yeah. So what happens there is you end up with all these running backs that slip way down, and so I think, it, but even in this format, you want to take. I think it's important to get pass catchers, and since I I have McCaffrey to start, I got to get uh, pass catchers here. Well, and, 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 and we're seeing it in this draft, George Kittle already goes. So again, uh, the, I got to wrap my head around these, these FFPC rankings. Cause I'm sitting here at, at round two uh, pick number nine. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take Kyle Pitts or TJ Hawkinson. I, does that make sense at all? Uh, I, I think so. I've been having conversations with Dick Olson yeah. about main event strategy. Uh, we're talking. We're discussing the idea from the six hole of going Waller in w- round one, Pitts in round three. Wow. So, I mean, again, the one well, and a half. You know, uh, I mean, yeah. He. Uh, <laughs> you know the Dick Olson for Dick Olson loves a guy like Kyle Pitts. Young, Just athletic, say, young, boom. athletic, hyped up. He's yeah. all over that. All right. Can you get the hype videos on YouTube easily? Yes. Boom. Sean, uh, it looks like it's coming back around to us slowly. Jonathan Taylor's oh. off the board. Uh, thank God, I have no interest in him. Calvin Ridley, um, and, and we're seeing again. Kramer, everyone thinks we're haters. Zach Martin of the Dallas Cowboys not <laughs> playing on opening night I, in the virus protocol. I hate to laugh. I hate to laugh. But again, this is what happens when the organization isn't being run by someone like All Rise Joe Judge. It's a culture making, issue. Making sure we're buttoning up the hatches. You think McCarthy's buttoning up any hatches? <laughs> Unlikely. He's worried about eating pancakes. Yeah, maybe he's. Yeah, maybe he's. The only thing he buttons up is like the Pringles container. All right, so eating the Pringles. Do it's. I we think it's just beer guy twenty seven. Then they're not listening. Maybe. So what? What's your ideal pick at this point, Sean? Oh what? man, Kyle Pitts On, just went. You're in the hole. 
Wow, second round Kyle Pitts went. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm not taking and Joe Mixon. Goes. Uh, okay. You mentioned you mentioned Najee Harris, and and the floor seems to be the thing that's so attractive about him. I mean, if I get Najee Harris and Dalvin Cook, I can just focus straight up on pass catchers. I feel like for a long time here, and, and not really worry about the running back position. Again, I'm not taking Atkinson this early. No. Jefferson's interesting. You know, I'm I'm not as high as market on as Antonio Gibson, Nick Chubb. I want no part of, especially in a PPR league. AJ Brown's kind of interesting, but I I think I'm gonna go Najee Harris. I don't have a ton of shares of him, and he's a guy I'm like slowly warming up to. So I'm going Najee Harris. Let's go. Again, it's it's one of these picks in best ball. You want to you don't want to have no exposure to the guy. Buddy uh, Jake Paquin checking in saying Najee has to be. Let's fucking go. And and at this point, am I about to have to? Am I going to be in a situation where I have to take Antonio Gibson if he's there? Mm. I, I don't want any part of him, right? But uh, you know, is it a hundred percent out? Because at some point, everyone's got a price, Sean. No, I I know, but I mean, he, again, oh, he's cool. still. Woo, woo, th- don't have to thank, sweat that out. Thank the good Lord. The, well, uh, and oh maybe and maybe right. at the end of the second round, but. All right, I understand we we are worried a little bit about the fact that Nick Chubb maybe doesn't have mm. the 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 ceiling. Ryan, if I was you, I would go AJ Brown, Keenan Allen. But it sounds like you're going to go running back here. As much as I think Nick Chubb shouldn't be a first round pick, he also shouldn't fall into the third round. Okay. So I'm taking Nick Chubb with my first pick, with my second pick, no brainer. As much as I like Keenan Allen, it's hard for me to turn down AJ Brown because it sets up a nice stack later. Because I like the price on Tannehill. I love teams where I end up with the Tannehill stack because I, I get that extra pass catcher in round like six where I would take the quarterback. Yes. And uh, David Montgomery goes, he's a guy I, I also like have some shares of Hawkinson does go. I'm going to, you know, I'm looking at my first receiver here. I'm going to take Keenan Allen. Why not? I mean, the, the guy just gets almost a hundred or a hundred plus catches every single year. Still not going tight end. Although I mean, TJ Hawkinson goes, I, I don't know. I'm just not. And maybe my brain isn't switched over into FFPC mode enough, Ryan. But I, I I'm just not going to take TJ Hawkinson here. You know what it is? You're not high enough on TJ Hawkinson. Yeah. And so, really, what you need. But what, and Cody, aka Beer Guy 27, he's taking a Mark Andrews there. He's a guy I consider. But I, I, I still think there's some tight ends that I, there, I'm interested in. There is a little bit of brain connection that needs to be done when it comes to just how much it's 50- Tyler Tyler Higby. Um, it's Noah Fan or more. Logan Thomas. If I can get one of those guys, or even Goddard, I, I know Zach Ertz is there, and he's going to eat into his workload. Another guy that is kind of been going up my boards is Jonu Smith, just because Hunter Henry's kind of banged up. Now that the Patriots have a real quarterback, I, I, I think if Hunter Henry's banged up and Jonu Smith ends up being the guy who gets a ton of work, I, I really think that Jonu is. I, I probably haven't moved him up enough. Getting uh, getting more and more intrigued by that. Oh man, we got so many contests going on. Make sure you go to oddscrowd.com. They got over thirty thousand dollars up for prizes. Our free roll football contest. We're doing it as the odds crowd season long contest. Ten thousand dollars up for grabs, and they also have SGPN exclusive weekly hundred dollar contests. They are separate contests, so. Make sure you get in on the uh, season long. Hey, well, Brian, you're laughing, but in previous people have already asked me this question, so I, that's why I'm explaining it. In previous years, when you entered the season long contest, the weekly prizes counted for that. This is on Odds Crowd. They have a separate weekly contest just for SGPN people. Hundred dollars to the uh, winner is the best week, and then they have a three thousand uh, dollar season uh, college one, and then they have uh, other like just weekly prizes where you can pick everything. They have a ton of contests. It's all free. It's fantasy a betting contests. And uh, go to oddscrowd.com or check out the uh, Odds Crowd app. Right, right. What are we looking at? I, I was I was kind of off in uh, in my own thoughts, looking at the board, trying to figure we out, my weed. trying to figure out where I'm going here. This team, I I I've, I've done. You know, of course, I did 24 hours straight. I just, I have, I'm, I'm north, way north of 100 teams, 
And I just haven't done too many teams from the one spot. I'm very uncomfortable from the one spot. Yeah, it is a it's an interesting uh, position to be in. So I'll recap, people. Uh, after I drafted Najee, Joe Mixon, Kyle Pitts, DK Metcalf, DeAndre Hopkins, Calvin Ridley, Jonathan Taylor goes, Austin Eckler, George Kittle. Um, coming back, we got Mike Evans, Robert Woods, Chris Carson, Terry McLaurin, Allen Robinson, Ceedee Lamb, Mark Andrews, Clyde edwards Hilaire, Keenan Allen is my first receiver. T.J. Hawkinson, David Montgomery, then Kramer. You got A.J. Brown. Where are we at now? Uh, we're sitting on f- four one, beginning of the fourth round. Amari Cooper just just goes. Oh, and um, I may have read that uh, one round. Uh, yeah, sorry, I went. You went Nick Chubb, AJ Brown, and then it went David Montgomery, TJ Hawkinson, Keenan and Allen. Uh, just basically, I fucked it up. I read I read the wrong in uh, the bottom right of your screen, Sean. Yeah, no, I get you, it. all right. Just trying to help you out, buddy. First, uh, what do we got? We we got some quarterback movement as well, Ryan. Yeah, I mean, not not surprising, I guess. Was uh was for two was Josh Allen a stack? Josh Allen was the uh, first quarterback off the board. Andrew Robb pulling that one, and it, at the uh, round four two spot, then Patrick Mahomes yeah. goes a little QB run. DJ Moore goes. Well, he got Diggs and Josh Allen. He he gambled. He waited to the fourth round and paid off. And reminder: still chance to get in our uh, FFPC lottery. Uh, head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com, click on the FFPC post. All you got to do is send in a uh, review of of either the app or the podcast and in that screenshot. Real easy to do and then we're going to raffle off a $1900 entry or it's like $1900 in credits which you could use for a main event or you could I'm sure use it for a bunch of best balls, whatever you want to do with it. Uh we got you covered over at uh, FFPC and obviously download the app. Get in that I was watching my wife enter the uh, contest, and again How she that? goes, "Wouldn't it be You're bad if I won?" I go, "What do you mean? It's a hundred thousand dollars. There's no rules saying you can't enter. Come on, it's not like with other contests where I'm pulling a name. It's not like the FFPC contest where we're pulling the name out of a hat. Yeah. It's, it's just can you pick all these picks against the spread right and a couple sure. totals? You're on the clock. Oh, okay, I'm on the clock. <laughs> Sorry, I was doing the show right. But it's I, I understand, and and what you're highlighting as you you're pointing out, you're a contest voyeur. Uh, anyone should do it except for us. Can we win? I think I actually think we can win. <laughs> so should, okay. I might I might enter just see what happens. <laughs> all right, what do I do here? Do I go another? Uh, oh wow, there's some guys you like on the board. Tyler Locker, a Godwin. Oof. Or do I do I uh get, do I st- I'm kind of getting worried about my tight end, but I got two or three that I like. So I and Miles Sanders, but I already seconds. have two running backs, right? Doesn't matter. The, the remember it's two flex here. It's two running back, two wide receiver, two flex. It's not like the three wide receiver yeah, draft. I'm things. going, I'm going, I took took Miles Sanders. I mean, uh, li- listen to this lineup. Dalvin Cook, Miles Sanders, Najee Harris, Keenan Allen. How do I not win? A million dollars. What is this? Is it? Can you win a million dollars? Yeah. But it, 50, coming, 50, coming back to my wife's story, it, <laughs> her brain picking games is actually pretty similar to my brain. She's like, okay, wait, who's on the? Uh, well, she know. Obviously, I know more about football, but she, she's like, oh, okay, who's on the? Who's on the Bucks this year? Oh wait, they still have Brady. Okay, and I go, well, you have to take the Bucks. Either she doesn't like Brady, but I go, you have to take the Bucks. They're playing the Cowboys. She's yeah. like, all right, not a problem. And she goes. <laughs> Who, who? All right, not who a problem. <laughs> who? Uh, where did Carson Wentz go again? The Colts. I go. Yep. She goes. Okay, I'll take Seattle. <laughs> she, I have a feeling she ha- will have a pretty similar card. So, encourage your uh, wife, girlfriend, or maybe you are the uh, wife and girlfriend. Get your man uh, yeah. in there uh, picking games. Man up, Kramer. You're on the clock. End of the f- fourth round. End the fifth round. What uh, are you doing here? I was waiting for you to finish talking before I went in here. Uh, look, I have McCaffrey, I have Chubb. Uh, so what what better way to to pile on with uh, AJ Brown? Surprised to see Chris Godwin here this late. Um, that great matchup week one. You know, what wouldn't be wouldn't mind playing. Uh, you know, or maybe I have a shitload of DFS contests already. Godwin uh, also just you know again Evans went 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 earlier a, a full round earlier so there's value there. And then for the second pick, I am getting worried about the tight end. I don't pick for a very long time. Mm. I have no problem uh, reaching a little bit right here and grabbing Logan Thomas. I think he has 
he's one of the few guys that can, I think can compete for the, the lead and targets on his team. I know, I know the nerds out there on the internet will tell me it's Terry McLaurin. I get it. Um, but I, I, you know what? Let's watch if it's, if it's magic likes the tight end. He definitely likes throwing to the tight end. <laughs> Happily married man, but also likes throwing to the round tight end. five pick number four. I'm almost on the clock. Best available according to their board: Josh Jacobs, Deontay Johnson, Gus Edwards, Javante Williams. Oh, do I go? Do I grab Javante here and get super cute? Could uh, could go Lamar and, and start maybe a Lamar stack. Sean, uh, do I say screw it and take a tight end? I mean, the reason I took Logan Thomas is because of who's left, and I, I yeah. kind of feel like it falls off. Um, well, I I do like Tyler Higby. Yeah, I, I do too. I mean, I, I probably have Logan Thomas and Higby pretty similar, but in this format, I like Logan Thomas's catch floor. I feel like I feel like we're gonna be surprised if he ends up with less than five catches any week. Yeah. Which means he scored he's definitely gotten you double digits. You know what? I, I, I'm going Deontay Johnson. I'm going Deontay Johnson. I know maybe say, I should have gun, Sean. I should have maybe went tight end there, but no. I, I like this squad. Keenan Allen, Deontay Johnson. Oh, I do realize I have four players on week uh, seven buys. I, I was just going to tell you, I have four, I have five players, all from different teams. Three players week thirteen, two players week nine. So I don't think you got to worry about that though. I mean, the rosters are deep enough here. I think it's eighteen. I, you you can't really be thinking about that. And honestly, having a bunch of guys later, it, probably not the worst thing. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some of the quarterbacks available. Lamar. Obviously, there. I, I think it's just uh, Josh Allen and and Patty Mahomes off the board. What do you look? At, how many quarterbacks are you looking to draft here, Ryan? Do you go just two quarterbacks? Do you go three? I feel like two is probably the way to go. Because if you lose both, if you lose two quarterbacks, you're not winning the thing anyway. Like, who gives a shit? If I'm waiting and taking, you know, the bargain quarterbacks, I'm. I wouldn't mind taking three. It's it's just a horror like. I understand your point of your draw you're drawing dead, but a below average quarterback can still score you enough points to to get there. Yeah. I think. All right. So after uh after I took De- Deontay Johnson, Jamar Chase goes. Brings uh, a tear guy to my eye. Guy doesn't no. follow the uh <laughs> follow the news. <laughs> Lamar Jackson goes, Cody, look out. Now did Cody uh, also take Mark Andrews? Feels like uh, maybe he snuck that in there. Wow. Gus Edwards goes. Mm. I was gonna say it brings Gus a, bus pretty brings high a, round five. A tear right? to my eye to see uh, Gus go this but, early. But that is a guy who probably does follow the news. Maybe over, maybe overdrafted in here a little bit, but uh, he certainly has a uh, a good path to a bunch of carries. Josh Jacobs goes. I, I want no part of Josh Jacobs. Javante Williams goes. I do want some part of Javante Williams. Still super high on him, and and he's a guy. Maybe he peaks later on in the season. Uh, as things go along, but um, we'll see there. I, 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 I don't know. I just like, uh, I like the idea of uh, Javante Williams. Oh, Kramer. This is, uh, this is, this is something close to my heart after years of fine print contracts and grit and ripped off by big wireless providers. If we've learned anything. It's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard mint mobiles offering premium wireless service, starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, there's got to be a catch, right? Fifteen dollars a month—that's insane. After talking to them, using the service, all makes sense. There isn't one. A Mint Mobile secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only, and basically cut out the middleman. No retail stores. If you ever gone to a cell phone retail store, goddamn nightmare. No crazy overheads uh, that gets passed on. No mystery fees. I hate fees. In general, and uh, hopefully, budget rental car never gets to be a sponsor on the show because I have a bone to pick with you. And Mint, they pass the savings right onto you. I I like when a company explains, "Hey, this sounds too good to be true. How are we doing it?" Mint Mobile explains it: premium wireless service for just fifteen bucks a month. You got unlimited talk and text, high-speed data, uh, delivered on the nation's largest five G network. Are you kidding me? If you're not hundred percent satisfied, mint mobile has you covered with their seven day money back guaranteed. Again, switch over to them. It's just 15 bucks a month. And uh, the best part is the plan uh, shipped to your door for free. Just go to mintmobile.com slash sports SGP. 
That's mintmobile.com slash sports SGP. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. I mean, right now, let's say your wireless bill is $200 a month or $100 a month. You cut that down to $15 a month. That's $85 you can use to betting on <laughs> sports yeah. gambling. Inve- investing. Investing. Investment opportunity. So just look at it that way. You I mean, you know, $85 a month, that's what? How many uh, slim FFPC best balls you could be getting into? Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you can get into at least three. Yeah. Carry the four. I'm coming up here in a little bit. I'm, I'm still keeping my eye on the tight end pool. Update people on uh, some of the uh, after J- Josh Jacobs got drafted. Julio Jones, Adam Thielen, Daryl Henderson, another guy that I'm not really, not really just in on. You know, the fact that they traded for Sony Michelle, it's not. It's just not appealing to me. Uh, it sucks when you know a guy isn't going to get goal line carries. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Ayuk goes Jerry Judy, who I like. Chase Claypool, who I like. Miles so, Gaskin, who uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, at, at that spot, I, I'm still a little confused at the backfield split of that Miami offense, and mess. I'm not. There, there's just so many guys in there. It, it's not very clear where the volume is going to be in Miami, and obviously, massive questions at the quarterback. Felt bad. Ran into a guy who was a huge Tua fan. It was really uh, funny. Wh- we met a guy who was a Chargers fan, and he he got to meet Decker. They they kind of had a similar look. It was very, it was kind of <laughs> like the Spider Man meme. Two Chargers fans <laughs> running into each other in Los Angeles <laughs> was a huge event. They were like, "Wait, what? You're a Chargers <laughs> fan?" It was very hilarious. Uh, and then the guy next to him was a uh, you know big football guy, but he also he was a, a Dolphins fan, but a big Tua guy. And I just had to explain oh. him that Tua sucks. Sean. Oh, oh, Cody rolling the dice with the boat trip himself. Odell right, Beckham. Right before you, Sean. I know that's got to break your heart. Oh, what, crushed. So, what position are you looking for now? You got three running backs. I got three running backs, two uh, receivers. Do you have to take care of the tight end position with one of these two picks? Yeah, I think that's fair. Probably but, smart. But I got. Noah Fant, Higby, Tunyon, and Goddard. I, I think if I get one of those guys, I'm fine. Now, what do I look? Oh, Kareem Hunt. That's a guy <gasps> who <gasps> I really <gasps> like. Uh, and then if I get Kareem Hunt, I don't need to draft another goddamn running back in this thing. Anecdotally, um, or do I go Robbie Anderson with my with my FFPC teams having the stud running backs has always seemed to be, be, be more successful for me, but I'm going cream hunt. Let's go. And you're kind of like for this team, I kind of like it. Cause you, now you can almost say, I mean, this can almost be like set it and forget it from the running back position. Be good. Yeah. with it. Oh. Don't have to worry about anything. And but I do think you've pinned yourself into needing to take uh, a tight end around the corner here. All right. What are we thinking, Sean? I'm up. I have Christian McCaffrey, Nick Chubb, AJ Brown, Chris Godwin, Logan Thomas. I'm looking at the receivers on the board, and I think I just have to bang, bang out uh, two receivers because I love uh, I love me some Robbie Anderson. You know that, Sean. In the sixth round, just feels like stealing. And what's Jamar Chase went like three rounds ago. Tyler Boyd, professional wide receiver. Mm. I, so now I'm sitting on AJ Brown, Chris Godwin, Tyler Boyd, Robbie Anderson to go with Logan Thomas, Nick Chubb, Christian McCaffrey. I'm gonna have to do some running back chasing now, but I love where I can I trade with, you some, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, work a deal. Do you wish you had taken Robbie Anderson there? No, no, because I I like Kareem Hunt. I do like Robbie Anderson. Uh, he had a little hamstring injury that knocked him down a slight hair. Uh, but yeah, Robbie Anderson, Tyler Boyd, that's a good pull at the six, seven turn. Melvin Gordon uh, goes who man, seventh round for Melvin Gordon. I guess, I, I guess some of these guys I'm just so out on. I can't see a path as to why I would draft him. Pepsi zero drafts LaVisca Chenault who, I mean, they quietly have some injury issues and uh, LaVisca Chenault really could be uh, no, it really could end up being valuable. Okay. I'm on the clock, Ryan. What do I do here? Do I do I bite the bullet and actually take a tight end? Let me check my tight end pool. Okay, now I'm down to three tight ends that I would be fine with, even a fourth quietly. Oh, well, maybe you wait then. Uh, I mean, if there's another position you like, you got ten seconds. <laughs> okay, 
Fire, fire, five, four. Devonta Smith. I can't help it. Let's go, <laughs> baby. I, I mean, I do think that is at a certain point, there's still, I, you know, who I'm getting higher on right now, other than obviously Gerald Everett, Jonu Smith. Yeah, I. That's what I said earlier yeah, in the I, show. I, I. I don't know if you were. Uh, we. Lost in your own thoughts. Well, no, I mean we we have we have them in the the, the D Gens only dynasty superflex dynasty yeah. league, and it just seems like uh, yeah I I don't know there's some guys I, I think there's another group here, and he's in there where I, I'm okay. Dallas Goddard I've actually kind of I've gotten worried about. That's one like what's going on there? Are they going to trade Ertz? No, I uh, what doesn't, the heck. Yeah, no, I, again, I was super high on Goddard the whole year with the assumption that they were going to trade Ertz, but it doesn't look like they're going to trade Ertz. So again, Ertz is actually kind of a fun guy to have in best ball. <laughs> and I, I took him a bunch of times as so, basically the last guy drafted, which uh, him and free roll on Dallas Goddard, him and Travis uh, Fulgham, right? Yeah. My Fulgham shares. And I, I think it's like 47% or something <laughs> insane. Again, I I was taking this guy in the last round because uh, it was just a fun upside, and and maybe he ends up on I'm the Eagles sorry. at some time. Dude, he had four he's weeks the, where he looked like the best receiver he, in the NFL. He's on the practice squad, right? Yeah. Now some some asshole drafted Dallas Goddard, Ryan. This is what happens. Now, well, you can't talk these guys up because then uh, well, they're all draft. going. Jonu Smith went. Tyler Higby goes. Robert Tunyon goes. Marquez Callaway goes. <laughs> Jonu Smith goes. Sean, Dallas should. Goddard goes. Antonio Brown goes. All you, right, you, I got cocky and I you, paid the. You price. read the market right. You should have taken the tight end. Now, now you're waiting. Although, I mean, there's still some guys there, but I now yeah now you're now you're in trouble, Sean. You're in a little bit of trouble. I don't know. I, I, am I really in trouble, Rod? I mean, it's all, it's just a best ball draft. So I guess it's all relative. You'll be fine. You'll wake up tomorrow. I think your tight end <laughs> position is going to be weak on this team though. I don't know. I, I mean, all right, maybe, I, maybe I start expending some draft capital and really ratchet up these tight ends, but there's some, there's still some good tight ends left. Come on. Mike Gusecki, Gerald Everett. It, oh, Evan Ingram. Shit. Yeah. It really falls <laughs> off. Uh, all oh right. great! Now I'm gonna have fucking like, I mean Blake Jarwin. No yeah, thanks. Although I, there is my man in in uh, Pittsburgh. He's 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 uh, wearing. Friermuth. Like, You're gonna need three tight ends now. I think you've. That's what yeah. you've committed. I've got. I backed myself into the three tight end corner. That's fine. I uh, so I I think I got to be looking at running back maybe here. Running back or quarterback? Mm. I don't. Maybe no. It's too early for quarterback. Well, we got Herbert there. Rogers Wilson. Too early, I, I think. Well, I mean, damn. Russ is pretty pretty attractive. He's he's looking pretty good. Pretty attractive. All right. So after the tight end run, Antonio Brown goes. AJ Dillon goes. Ryan Tannehill goes. That's interesting. Tannehill above Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Justin Herbert, Tom Brady. Don't see that a lot. Matt Stafford even. Trey, ah, oh, there goes my Tannehill stack, motherfucker. Yeah, the Trey, wow, Trey Lance goes. Oh wow! In front of Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. I, I mean, that's a little crazy. If you ask why me. you take it? Why just stomping on my stack? This guy, the nerve. Uh, Gasecki goes. All right, so that's getting a little, little concerning. Both my running backs have the same bye week. That's something I got to be aware of. Keep an eye on that, Ryan. I have two Carolina Panthers as well. Okay. I'm pot committed there. I might as well get darn. <laughs> Just let me add Darnold to the queue now. All right. You got Darnold in your queue. I mean, I'm not taking him this round. I'm just saying I gotta remember to take him later. Justin Herbert goes. So some real quarterbacks are going. Debo Samuel, who maybe he's fun in a in a best ball league. He he hasn't gotten much practice. He was dealing with COVID and hamstring issue, but he's a guy that maybe like flashes later on. Uh, in the season, Jake coming in with a deep question. Mm. Albert O in Denver, a guy that you you made me drop in the D, D- Gen's only no. dynasty league. I was all over that guy. What are you talking about? We had, we had, you know, we it was a it was a numbers game. We had to make a tough you decision. Ju- you dropped him. I love that guy. And uh, oh, we, I mean, we had to. Jake's drop pointing him. out, no offense, already banged up. 
I still and like Noah Fan. I feel like has had a bunch of injuries. I I like his potential though. I, I do. I think if he keeps slipping because of it, that's fine. Russ Russ Wilson in the eighth round. Are you doing that? Mm. Oh, Sean, you're on. You're on deck. All right. Do I pull the trigger on a tight end here? I might. I got I got my eye on one, maybe even two tight ends. Not gonna yeah, yeah, not gonna reveal end. these 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 snakes in the grass will steal it. Roto Masters on the clock. Beer guy uh, Cody goes with Michael Gallup. Danger Russ goes. Jalen Waddle goes. Herbert's gone. The running back room lo- is looking pretty gross at this point. Yeah. Uh, I could draft a tight end. Let's see. Tight ends available: Gerald Everett, Evan Ingram, Gronk, Cole Komet, Hunter Henry, Zach Ertz, Jarwin, Ferkser. Ferkser. Yeah, I'm gonna go Jalen Hurts. Fuck everyone. Let's fucking go. Eighth round, you gotta draft Jalen Hurts if he's there. I have a rule, Ryan. Okay. And in the big money league, you said no homerism, but. Jalen uh, Hurts has to be an uh, exception. Miles Sanders is the only guy. Jalen Hurts. No. Come on. He's not going to start. I I think there's there's too much of a risk that he's not playing at the end of the year because they've traded for Deshaun Watson. What do you mean? He's. <laughs> they're not. They're not trading for Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson I, hasn't waived his no trade clause. I'm worried for about that scenario. That's what you're worried about with Jalen Hurts. You're crazy. Fuck then him. he goes to then he goes to some garbage team like the Texans. And and racks up a ton of yards there. I'm on the clock. Cortland Sutton goes. Brandon Cooks goes. What are you doing, Kramer? I mean, as much as I need running backs, who cares? Give me more receivers. Corey Davis, bang. Now, do I? I don't need to do that yet. So you know what? I'm gonna reach a little bit because I know this guy's not gonna make it back to me, and I know this guy it has a role. Locked up for him, Jamal Williams. Unfortunately, <laughs> I got to take him earlier than I was getting him uh, uh, this summer. But yes, please. It's locked in my third starting running back in the eighth round, Sean. Let's fucking go. G- or actually ninth round. Curtis Samuel uh, goes. Who I thought he already went, but uh, I, I must have looked at that wrong. Miko Hardman goes. He's an interesting one. So you got Corey Davis, Jamal Williams. Okay, that's fun. I'm on the clock. I gotta do it. I gotta get a tight end that I know is gonna be a starter for a team <laughs> with a good offense. Yeah, you, give me Gerald Everett. I like I like the upside of him so risky. in the Shane Steichen offense. What do you mean it's risky? It's Gerald Everett. Come on. Well, he's never done anything before. I, I like the potential as well. I just I'm, best ball, Ryan. You're just need, you need a couple more. And then I'll go. I'll get Cole Komet and Fryermuth, and it'll be a sick ass tight I'm end. I'm sorry. Say say the guys name again. Guys, just you know, crushing chicks and. Who's the tight end in Pittsburgh again? Yeah, he's one of those guys who will get penetration. Pat Fryermuth. 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 Kramer, what do you? What's uh? What's next on the pick? You're you're not picking for a while, but what do you? Well, what do you got to fill out uh, your roster with? I got five receivers, one tight end. So I have Christian McCaffrey, Jamal Williams, Nick Chubb. I'm good. I'm I'm feeling good about that that start, that start to the build. AJ Brown, Tyler Boyd, Robbie Anderson, Corey Davis, Chris Godwin, and Logan Thomas. You know I'm gonna look pretty hard at the tight end position. I think for a backup. This because we're getting to the point where you're you're maybe taking a guy who might not play, so I'd rather take a backup who I can trust. Yep, Ryan. While also, you're, also going to be doing a receiver. Obviously. Ryan, do you love free betting picks? I do love free betting. Well, picks. then you got to check out Pixwise.com. Pixwise is the number one home of free sports betting picks, props, and parlays, helmed by a team of trend watching, data devouring sports fanatics, giving you the who how and why behind every prediction for every game, every day and every sport, all for free. Visit pixwise.com to make your next bet better. Pixwise backs responsible gambling. If you or someone you know wants help, call 1-800 gambler. Uh, yeah, why wouldn't you want to check out pixwise.com? I mean, I I check out pixwise.com. Who doesn't need, you know, free picks? I've if you love, like them, you like picks. them. Love if you picks. don't, eh, hey, I mean, basically anyone talking about gambling, I'm in on, with the noted exception of you know Robert Mays. There's some, there's a couple of guys out there that 
I don't I have no interest in hearing their opinion on on sports or gambling, but for the most part, I'm all in, Ryan. You you got an opinion? I might might agree, I might not, but I I want to hear everyone's opinion when it comes to gambling. I don't mean to laugh. I was enjoying the YouTube chat while you were reading that. Just people uh calling it a classic Sean Eagle stack. What? <laughs> Jalen Hurts, Devonta Smith, <laughs> even our boy Tony Romo, all over the surprise Eagles ride. You got to be worried. I that, mean, that just got when Romo, you know, Ro- a guy like Romo, who is just uh, as we know the greatest football mind. He knows what might happen in an upcoming play. Jim, Jim. <laughs> all right, let's do a little uh, update here. After I took Gerald Everett. Kenny Galladay goes. Again, a guy not reading the news. Will Fuller goes. Uh, Michael Pittman goes. Oh, I like I like Pittman in the ninth round. Even though I'm not high on the Colts and and their offensive line is kind of a disaster right He's now. And Wentz, one. but yeah, I mean with T Y and and yeah, that there's massive opportunities. Darnell Mooney goes. Zach Moss goes. Michael Carter goes. Ronald Jones goes. Michael Thomas goes. Slipping Jimmy. I, I'm not drafting Michael nope. Thomas. Just I'm not. Oh, he just seems like he's angry about something. Yeah, whatever it is, it's not he, gonna work. Ronald Jones, I I kind of think to me, I, if I'm gonna go Tampa Bay running back, I'm gonna just wait and go super late and get me a uh, Giovanni Bernard. Yeah, I mean, I guess here's the thing: Ronald Jones is gonna have a couple games. You know, he's gonna have a couple that nice is true. games. But I think probably in the ninth round, you need more than a couple nice games. Yeah. That makes sense. Like that analysis, Sean. Yeah, best available right now: Rodgers, Brady, Stafford, Sony, Michelle, Leonard Fournette, James Connor. Any of those names intriguing? I, right. I do wonder sometimes where they get the ADP mm. uh, for these guys because it, uh, like, I, you do when you, you you generally in these FFPC drafts, and maybe it's the lower like thirty five dollar limits. But generally, these drafts are pretty sharp, and you're not seeing quarterbacks. I mean, even in this one, you're not seeing quarterbacks going super duper early. So, except for Sean with Jalen Hurts in the eighth, lock it up. Death taxes, Jalen Hurts in the eighth round. So, who do you think? uh, I know we haven't talked to them about them a a bunch because they don't seem super fantasy relevant, but the Jags' current receiver situation. I kind of like Marvin Jones. You know the fact that uh, Brian Table went out of his way to bring him over, but then DJ Chark, uh, and then everyone seems to have Lavisca Chenault above both those guys. What's your take? I think I'm I'm settling in on the Marvin Jones later. Yeah, is better than Le- like I like Chenault. I just think he's he's going to get to a point where he's going to it's going to be hard for him to exceed, and I do wonder what this offense is going to look like. I I don't think we know yet. So, um, yeah, I like I think Chanel has the highest floor, but mm-hmm. I would probably give I would even say Chark probably has a higher ceiling. Chark and Marvin Jones are ready week one, according to the latest reports. They do play the Texans uh, twice. That should be fun. And and the Jags do seem like a team that could be passing from behind a bunch. I, I may I may grab one of these Jags receivers here. Maybe tipping my hand a little bit too much. Elijah Moore is an interesting pick. Even, oh yeah, there's a couple of receivers here I like in this in this section. Kenyon Drake goes. Oh who I, I kind of like that angle. Ooh, Ooh. Cody with the Ramondre uh, oh. Stevenson angle. Ooh, hot, deep pull. But I, I I like where his head's at. I'm getting nervous because I I don't feel great about about. I only have three running backs, and I was I was about to take Drake, Sean. Mm. So I, I I'm feeling a little sniped right now. You're on the clock. Okay. No, James white goes, who uh, I, you know, now well, there goes my cue. My cue is being hit hard right now. Now that the Patriots have receiver or sorry, a quarterback who knows how to throw the football. I think they're going to be in a much better spot. Hmm. What do I do here? I got click over on receivers. 25 seconds. Yeah. You have one tight end or two. One. You are, is there one that you like? Yeah, but I'm not going tight end here. Not going tight end. Evan going Ingram D- is I'm there. Going, I'm going DJ Chark. Ryan, come on. I mean, this is. No, I can't. Uh, so, I mean, we're we're got, we're professional I, sharps. I, I understand you're. You not can't give out that kind of horrible advice to the listeners. A guy who's not going to see the field. Understood. Tony Pollard. Now that's a sharp play. Sharp. Russell Gage, who's interesting. 
but I, I kind of like uh, Ulamide Zacchaeus is like the super deep uh, pull there. So after I took Chark, yeah, Pollard and Gage go. I, I do maybe I will go tight end. Kramer, you're on the clock. Back to back picks end around ten, beginning around eleven. What do you got for us? I mean, I think the algorithm is probably going to want me to take a quarterback at some point. I do like Matt, Matty Stafford, but I want another running back. We've heard that we've seen the press clipping, Sean, Naheem Hines mm. getting more involved in the he's offense. Always, uh, you know, in a PPR league, he's always there. So he's going to be pick one and uh, well, right. And that's what they expect. They, they expect Kenny Gainwell in Philly to have a possible Ooh. Naheem Hines has scroll, you know, I, I Sirianni bringing over that Colts offense. They're super high on, on Kenny Gainwell. I, I think people see him drafted in the fifth round. They're like, Sean, you're just drinking that Kool-Aid. My sources in the Eagles are saying he's, he's going to have a, a, a role in the offense and, and they uh, only kept three running backs. Right I'm now. gonna, I'm going to fire on my final running back because I think it gets dicey after this. Give me James Connor. Mm. Uh, I mean, the Terminator. I feel like with Christian McCaffrey, Nick Chubb, Jamal Williams, James Conner, Naheem Hines. I like, you know, my my uh, my model has two point seven running backs scoring for me on a <laughs> weekly basis, and it helps with the buys now. I, I kind of I have I have a nice distribution. Ryan, while you were doing your sweet nerd impression. No. What'd you do, Sean? Matt Ryan went, Elijah Moore went, and I drafted oh, Cole Komet. You motherfucker. Do you think I wasn't going to draft Cole Komet? I should have taken him from you. Fuck. So now I got Cole Komet and Gerald Everett, two guys I'm pretty high on. And I can round out with a third tight end later on. A Zach Ertz, a, a Friar Muth, even a Donald Friar Parham. Muth. I got I got lots of outs on my third tight end. So oh. I, I feel good. I feel like I got two guys who are going to be Pretty much the starters. I, I know Ebron. I don't know. Fryer Moose the guy. And, now, and I, we have completely disregarded Eric Ebron on this show. It's too Eric fun to Ebron. say Fryer Moose. Yeah, that and now between Fryer Moose and Najee Harris, I I think I have a shot of getting a lot of these Pittsburgh touchdowns. Because I think both are gonna get a lot of looks in the goal line or in the red zone. Devin Singletary goes, Jacoby Myers goes, who is now is fantasy relevant. <laughs> is uh, thanks to um I feel like he's a, overrated. Our buddy McCorgle. I feel like he's overrated. Now. Joe Burrow gone. I don't want a Joe Burrow. Terrace Marshall goes. That's a fun one. Hollywood. Hollywood. Marquise Brown goes. I'm doing it again, Sean. I'm having one of these shit quarterback teams again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you can do that, Kramer. It it it, it makes I'm it's trying. To, I'm trying to get winners, bro. Ryan, while you, while you're working on that, you're not picking for a while. Why don't you let the uh, good folks oh. know about Manscaped and oh, the lawnmower? On, I'm filling four up my IQ. Point. I knew this was a bad oh. idea. Trying to give, trying to give me work. All right, Sean. Freestyle. Come on. Talk uh, about. I mean, talk it, about grooming. It literally tells. So go true, on the solo it, camera. Well. It tell, Address the people it, about Manscaped. It's telling me I need. I should tell a story about when I hurt myself trimming my balls. But true story. So we're about to venture on what what we call a Daddy's week long work trip to Las Vegas, aka a week long of awesome debauchery, fantasy football, uh, and so you know we're, we're having some af- activities with the lady, and uh, you still wanted to get prepared. You know we're having a nice meal, a little wine. Uh, there's going to be some. When to call. After uh, after meal activities, <laughs> and uh, I was rushing through it because I was trying to get prepped for this goddamn show. Oh, this leads to that, Sean. I wasn't using the lie. It, it was sitting in the office. I hadn't brought it home yet. Oh wow! Rookie Have mistake. the lawnmower 4.0 here, but I didn't use it. Use some other guys, and now now I got. I mean, honestly, salt. Went to the went to the beach today too, so there's like there, there's a whole chafing situation. Oh man! So anyway, uh, I, I would highly recommend you don't do that. Get the get the landscape the landscape get the manscaped lawnmower 4.0, which Sean uh, I I don't see the RPMs listed in the copy, but I'm gonna assume they ratcheted it up from the the 10,000 RPMs last time. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's like, it's like the iPhone; it just gets better with every I, release. Again, uh, here, here's the crazy thing. I, I'm I'm seeing here that they've added the performance package, Sean. Oh, oh, oh more power. Well, I mean, they're, they're not only keeping you clean, 
below the belt, but now they're covering you below the belt <laughs> with some boxers. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. <laughs> DGENs, don't let, don't gamble on shaving your balls with the wrong tools. Choose Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. I know mine will. I love this fucking show and I love fucking betting. Okay, let's update the uh, listeners. I hope I didn't miss a pick because of that. No, you're all good. Uh, Matty Stafford goes Jarvis Landry, Leonard Fournette, Evan Ingram, Giovanni Bernard, Jared Cook, (laughs) Hunter Henry, Rondale Moore, all off the board. I'm coming up here in a couple picks. It's horrible. You haven't drafted a quarterback yet, right? No. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) The Jameis went. Fuck. Jameis goes. I mean, you know Cody. What am I doing? Cody's these, a fun guy. These guys are dicks. They know what I want. You, you know, you know he, he was gonna take Jameis from you. Roto Masters is ahead of me on the clock. Uh Fangbanger saying a dime stack uh, coming up for Kramer. Appreciate that. I assume uh I assume it's uh Dan- <laughs> <laughs> Danny Dimes. I don't oh, uh, Chris Clifford, aka Boston Capper, checking in, saying, "Why don't I get the fun ad reads?" Oh, oh come on, we give you, uh, we give you all the fun reads over on the Golf Gambling Podcast. Make sure you check that out. Going to be hanging out with Boston Capper in person. Ooh. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. Next week, Las Vegas, doing it live. John, yes, you're almost on the clock. I know. I got one guy in my queue. If he gets drafted, I'm going to curse. Is it Travis Fulgham? No. <laughs> Justin Fields. There you go. Let's go. He's the number one quarterback available. Means Kramer. Are can't you drafted get him. a backup? What? You drafted a backup quarterback? Yeah. I don't even have a single quarterback yet. Yeah. Well, you're you have a poor drafting strategy. <laughs> I have two stud running quarterbacks who are gonna light up the fantasy world. <laughs> and I got my sweet Justin Fields Cole Komet stack. You've recovered nicely, Sean. I'll Thank give you. you that. I mean, listen to this team: Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, which is my go-to quarterback combo. I'll Naj- just keep stacking receivers. Najee Harris, Miles Sanders, Dalvin Cook, Kareem Hunt. Show me a better running back room. I dare you. Keenan Allen, DJ Chark, Deontay Johnson, Devonta Smith, Cole Komet, Gerald Everett. So I'm really happy with my squad right now. I'm just gonna draft uh, flyer receivers from now. To the end when I take Zach Ertz in the twentieth round. Just read an article about how Austin Hooper is getting involved. I need hmm. a backup tight end. I'm still neglecting the quarterback I, I position. I still like I I would take Harrison Bryant no. in a best ball league. By the way, Fer, are we just out on Ferkser? Has is that is that a thing? Yeah. I, what happened? Something happened in the tight end world where I I think Ferkser's got demoted. No, I think they're just I think people are just realizing maybe if he doesn't score touchdowns, he's he's trouble, but. In best ball, is he going to get in the end zone a little bit? Ooh, and this is a guy. Just the more we do drafts, the more I'm high on. But Henry Ruggs, I, I think there's a real boom. Uh, you know, certainly boom and bust. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm all over uh, Henry Ruggs there. So I took Justin Fields. Then Trevor Lawrence goes. Kirk Cousins. Kramer went Marvin Jones. That's a fun one. Aust- and then Austin Hooper. Big Ben. Uh, is off the board. Alexander Madison, Henry Ruggs. I took J.D. McKissick, who I really like. Shout out to Roto Masters. Tevin Coleman, interesting. Feel like we haven't talked about him much. Hey, the starting. I mean, he's kind of a, a poor man's Jamal Williams, yeah. In a way, I, I think the trouble with Tevin Coleman is, unlike Jamal Williams, he just seems like someone who's already kind of broken. Will Ryan get to draft Devontae Parker? He's next up uh, according to the uh, average draft position here. Best ball. I would have taken him had I not wanted to, t- to grab a little Austin Hooper. Yeah. There's some uh, there's some fun guys here left in the, in the receiver flyer uh, area where I'm just right. tossing people in here. This is when things get trouble. When when Baker goes, then I have to seriously <laughs> look at the quarterback position. I assume Marquez Callaway is gone, but I I don't remember talking about him. Yeah, he went. I mean, I think he flew off the board and like this, uh, the board is too small for me to see on my screen. So I'm going to have to, you're going to have to look that one up for Zach Ertz went Sean 13th round. Mm, okay. Well, it's a, you know, tight end premium league. 
Not surprised. A guy like Zach Ertz, just an all pro. He's a catch master too. He doesn't the yak doesn't doesn't hurt him in this, this format. No, you're right. Jimmy Graham's available. Eric Ebron and Fryer Moose still available. All right, when Tua gets gets eliminated from your queue, not because you take him, that's trouble. <laughs> that is, uh, you are in a rough spot. If the if the draft could just why is someone has three quarterbacks? Two people have three quarterbacks. All right, someone drafted. Tannehill, Trey Lance, and Aaron Rodgers. Mm. What a fucking dickhead! I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be mean, but you're just, you're just, ruin, you're, you had, don't, you don't have a chance. You're ruining the chance for someone else, though. Playing defense in best ball tournaments. Who does that, Sean? Yeah. No need, Ryan. No need. <laughs> it is pretty funny. Someone playing defense in a, a best ball tournament. Oh, oh man. I I uh I got involved in some uh college football DFS Ryan. It's it was a lot of fun. Uh looking pretty decent with the prize picks. Mm. I know uh one of our one of our listeners hit us up saying uh Colby saved his day because he gave out a five for five prize picks lineup, which is Kobe. a 10x. Kobe. That's right, 10x. Are you kidding? Uh prize picks again. It's a fun way to play DFS. It's simplified, just Easy over unders, not much more to uh, think about. You just, yeah. Uh, NFL Week One will be giving out our line, our official Prize Picks lineup on the DFS podcast, which we will be taping tomorrow, along with some uh, some other lineups as well for daily fantasy. But again, highly recommend checking out Prize Picks. Legal and active in a, a ton of states. It's DFS simplified. You can get it in the App Store, Google Play Store. Best part is. Use our promo code SGP over at prizepicks.com to get that 100% deposit bonus up to $100. Oh man, I'm 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 really stressed out about having to get all my DFS stuff locked I in. Know. I know. So Kramer, as you said, uh, Andrew Robb with the deep pull on Tua, then Philip Lindsay goes, Devontae Parker goes. So Kramer, you are not not getting Devontae Parker in this oh. draft. Gabe Davis goes, David Johnson goes, Malcolm Brown goes, Rashad Penny goes as well. Fuck. Zach Wilson gone. <laughs> my my quarterback queue has just been emptied. That's it. Ryan, what are you gonna do uh with receiver? I'm good with receivers. AJ Ooh, AJ Cody, Brown. Cody going uh Tyrell Williams there. That's interesting. I mean, Cole Beasley goes. You're strangely getting the higher on the the Detroit Lions and Jared Goff for some reason. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe you haven't watched football in a little while. What do I do, Ryan? Do I uh, here here are four of my receivers I have, and these are these are some of the. Oh, you know what? Who, I'm I'm gonna stop messing around. And just draft Pat Fryermuth. Probably over another him. tight end. Wow. Well, I got three tight ends. <laughs> No, I mean they're not over amazing. Eric Ebron, huh? Yeah. All right, I, I got it. What? So let's just. Uh, what? Why is Fitzpatrick still out there? That's a good question. I mean, not not that you know. I'm all right. So Ryan Fitzpatrick turns out to be a stack with Logan Thomas, Sean. So that's not so bad. And I'm just going to take him now to protect him because I got the stack with McCaffrey and with Robbie Anderson. Give me Sam Darnold, Sammy D. All right. So I ended up with Ryan Fitzpatrick and Sam Darnold. Do you hate my quarterbacks? Yeah. No, I mean, in best ball, maybe, but you're you're getting zero rush yards, which as you know, with the rush yards, it's important. Fucking nerd. (laughs) Don't worry. I'll throw Tyrod in here. I don't need it. I don't need another running back, do I? I mean, How many I, do you have? I have four, but they're Miles Sanders, Najee Harris, Dalvin Cook, Kareem Hunt. No, you're good. Yeah, you probably need to strengthen it. There, you probably need three tight ends. Three, and what about quarterbacks? I have three tight ends. I have two quarterbacks, Hurts and Fields. I'm fine with. Maybe I'll draft. Ooh, I mean, I'd be a little concerned that you have two guys that aren't starting football games at some point in the season. Hmm, I'll, I'll consider a last round quarterback pick. McCorkle, maybe. Danny Dimes is available. Wow. 
that's Deshaun Watson. Just my, hedge my bets. My here. third guy will be Danny Dimes. Get that rushing upside. <laughs> Vanilla Vic, look out. All right, Kramer. Recap, uh, recap. Let people know your team and remind people. Still time to enter the oh, yeah. uh, FFPC contest. We're going to give away a nineteen hundred dollar, nineteen hundred dollars in credits. Kramer, do you have the spreadsheet open? I do. Okay. What are we looking at entry wise? I feel like it's not going to be crazy high. This was a last second thing, so massive opportunity here. Huge overlay. I mean, it, it's you. You will have a. Uh, a great it's a single di- digit percentage chance to wow. win if you enter right now. That is that is pretty so awesome. That, that is greater oh than zero, less than ten. Okay. Well look out. You're <laughs> I feel like that's a wide net, but still, that's pretty awesome. Wow, Donovan Peoples Jones win. Who took that guy? <laughs> Coming at you, Sean. You pissed off Jalen Rager, went, weren't you? <laughs> you got sniped. He did. You you needed that double stack. He was he was in my queue. Where's Quez? Oh wait, oh I was on auto draft, Ryan. God damn it! Oh, I didn't remind. I didn't see. I was doing other stuff. Yeah. Well, what the hell are you doing over there? Woo! It's smoking my. Uh, it's all right. They, they took the guy I had in my queue, Donovan Peoples so, Jones. So the guy who, uh, <coughs> the guy who auto drafted, accuses the other guy of of being on drugs. Not cool, no, I, I'm the guy. I'm the. I'm not on drugs. I'm looking at the goddamn no, no. ad reads. You're accusing me of being on drugs. No, I'm not. I'm the not one auto <laughs> drafting. <laughs> what are you doing over there, though? I'm looking at a lot of things, a lot of data, a lot, lot of ins, a lot of outs. I'm on Ross St. Brown. Is he uh, worth a shot here? Mm. I mean, we we heard uh, Mr. Dan Leach from Detroit tell us there's a. There's chemistry there, and the last guy he had Goff had chemistry with Cooper Cup did pretty well. John, my team Fitz Fitzy with Sam Darnold, Nick Chubb, Naheem Hines, Christian McCaffrey, James Conner, Jamal Williams, Corey Davis, Chris Godwin, Marvin Jones, Tyler Boyd, AJ Brown, Robbie Anderson to go with Austin Hooper and Logan Thomas. I, mm, I don't think I go three tight ends. I do think. Do I take another quarterback? Probably. Yeah. Probably take Chuba it. Hubbard goes. Andrew Robb, great pick, Andrew. Fuck Daniel Jones. <laughs> Daniel Jones went behind McCorkle. Kenny Gainwell goes. Emmanuel Sanders, Latavius Murray, uh, and then uh, Chuba Hubbard. Oh, Daryl, uh, Daryl Williams as well. McKinnon, Ryan. What about uh McKinnon for uh for the Chiefs? That's, That's a fun dart. One. Yeah. It's a fun dart. It seems like he's gonna get some some like you know. Legit work. It's always hard with that team. Yeah, with the Chiefs. All right, let's take a look. Uh, best available. Got Brian Edwards, Sterling Shepard, Traquan Smith. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it does seem like Callaway's his guy, and Slipping Jimmy just drafted Traquan Smith. But um, Sterling Shepard, Brian, Brian Edwards, MVS. He could be an interesting one. Maybe toss him in the queue. Well, he's perfect for best box. He just he runs deep routes. So. Yeah, and he, he'll give you a couple massive games. And it seems oh, we don't have to talk about him. <laughs> Why? Uh, oh, because you want to draft him. He's got that. You know, he's got that sexy a dot. <laughs> yeah, Jarek McKinnon is available for the Chiefs. That's kind of an interesting one. I feel like he's been you know kind of talked about a little bit more. I know some of the beat writers in Kansas City are high on him. Potential upside. What else you got, Kramer? I'm trying to. I'm looking at my roster and I'm trying to figure out what position. So with, with three picks left, I probably need to burn one on a quarterback. Although I hate the quarterbacks that are out there now, and I think the rest, I just, just more receivers. Mm. Just fire on the receivers. Maybe you do want a fifth round. I, I just I don't think the running backs are worth it at this point, unless you see a guy that could like fall into a big role. Yeah, and and some are fun that I wouldn't mind having in like Carlos but Hyde, I, honestly. Like Carlos Hyde is like, cor- you know, coaches love Carlos Hyde, dude. Uh, he's the backup, and now Travis Etienne's hurt. So I like that's not the career. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't four yards in a cloud of dust is the best case scenario with Carlos Hyde. <laughs> James Robinson's really been skyrocketing, obviously with the uh, with the Travis Etienne. Wayne Gallman. 
I mean, he's now Mike he's, Davis. Is he backup. is he on a roster? Oh, you're right. Carolina. He ended up in uh, Carolina. I mean, he he went to maybe the best situation he could have gone to. Yeah, if you're if you're him, that's probably is the best case scenario. Tyler Croft uh, goes uh, tight end for the Jets. Ty Johnson goes. Dawson Knox uh, goes. Rashad Bateman goes. And Sterling Shepard all off the board. I, I got a little cue of uh, and then up. Uh, Sniped Adam a cue MVS Cody, sharp guy that Cody Ryan. Uh, it's he, he's he listens to the stupid podcast and, <laughs> and then he, and then he drafts for some reason we let him draft with us. Uh, Boston Capper says he loves McKinnon. And uh, Mister Fancy Pants checking in saying uh, Parham is another deep slayer sleeper. Shh. Deep Dude. sleepers. Come on, guys. Ooh, yeah. So Cody has a uh, MVS. Let's see. Best available. A bunch of receivers. Brian Edwards, AJ Green, who had a couple shares of. I don't know what to think of him. Yeah. Oh, Teddy B going. That's uh, you know, get a part of that Denver offense. KJ Hamler, lock him in. <clears throat> Did you do it? Pulled the trigger on KJ Hamler. It's your guy. Yeah. I mean, the guy is he has a couple massive games. Coming into his second year, he certainly, certainly could. You know, you could. Oh my God, Carson Wentz goes. <laughs> are you kidding me? Were you? Were you? Did you have Carson Wentz in your queue? Ryan? What am I gonna do? There's no other quarterbacks. What is your current quarterback situation? I have Sam Darnold and Ryan Fitzmagic. Okay. Do you think there's some improvement there that's needed? Yeah. I mean, Ryan, you are also the one that said Taylor Heineke is. Legit in contention to start week uh, one. I, I yeah, so I, that's why I'm a little concerned about my starting quarterback. Brian Edwards shouldn't be available still. I'm going to take him to start. Okay, Jimmy uh, Jimmy G's available. Tyrod, who we were somehow making a case for, Deshaun Watson, if, uh, Cam Newton. He's not on the roster. How's Cam Newton drafted higher than Andy Dalton, who is a starting quarterback on a team? I mean, I guess I I know I, I drafted uh, I drafted him. Who Ryan, why don't you why don't you uh, draft a uh, Philip Walker, aka PJ Walker, aka Mister XFL? Just lock up that Carolina quarterback room. You know, I, I've been taking uh, I've been taking a share or two of. You know what? I'm gonna grab another. Let's grab Nico Collins. Mm. He it seems like he's gonna be on the field. Every damn play. So uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get cute and I'll. Uh, no one's gonna. No one's gonna fucking draft Tyrod. So I'll grab. I'll grab Tyrod in the 18th <laughs> as my third quarterback. Is that a? Is that a? How many? Uh, how many rounds it is? It's 18, 18 or 20. Yeah, okay, we're, we're rounding down. Oh, I'm on the clock. Hmm. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. I'm on Ross St. Brown. Not Quiz Watkins. Wow, you could have gone full full. Oh wait, wait, he's still in the queue. I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet. Come on, Ryan. What are you doing? Sean, people don't people, Sean, people don't know about Quiz. One week from today. Yes, it's Sunday. We will be stumbling around Las Vegas NFL. after a full day of watching football. This is just what my brain is. The next ones. Have we talked about Tony Jones on the podcast yet? No, lay it on, lay the Tony Jones case on me. It sounds like he's Latavius Murray now, mm. or at least there's a chance that he's going to to uh, operate in some sort of part of that backfield. So, uh, he's an interesting late round dart throw for running back. He he makes more sense than some of these other guys to me because he's a new up and coming guy versus kind of the other like the Carlos Hyde side of it. Uh, Eric Ebron goes Ryan. Finally, uh, finally, someone drafted our boy uh, Eric Ebron, getting no love. Cody's uh, threatening to draft uh, Tyrod Taylor, Ryan, which would be the ultimate heel heel turn by uh, Cody. <laughs> Co- Cody's real. I mean, I don't know. Kobe. Uh, Cody seems like a nice guy. <laughs> All right, what are we doing this week, Sean? 
Well, we got the DFS podcast, which we're going to be doing tomorrow. Then Dra- drafting we- mega high stakes fantasy football leagues. Check. Yep. Then we will be doing a. Then we're going to be flying out to Vegas Tuesday yep. morning. Check. Doing the college football picks week two podcast live. Check. NFL week one podcast the following Wednesday. Good thing. Uh, and then the NFL pregame show count you down to kick off again all the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday live from the beautiful win in Las Vegas, the new Blue Wire Studio. Oh my God! Straight money, and then we'll be doing a pregame show from a uh, surprise location in Las Vegas come Sunday. Brian, last pick in the draft. Are you really going to take Tyrod? Kramer, and also you have to slack me the number of contestants that are in the uh, that are in as we are closing it down. We're going to announce the winner of the nineteen hundred dollar FFPC credit. That's going to be fun. And uh, if you're not an FFPC, it's we got that twenty five dollar uh, free credit. You can just click through the link over at Sports Gambling Podcast dot com and uh, get in over there. These these best ball drafts are. Super fun, and then they also, you know, come playoff time. They got a bunch. Oh, I'm. Th- I don't think anyone, no, no one can can mess with their playoff contest. Yeah, uh, but again, best ball. They're. I think they have a decent number of ones available. So, overlay alert. I, you know, I think that's essentially what happens. Yeah, it's called an overlay, Sean. All right, slipping Jimmy on the clock. What are some of these uh, late round stuff? So after I took Amon Ra St. Brown. Randall Cobb goes. Cody does take uh, Jarek McKinnon as we were discussing. Christian Kirk goes. Ebron, Byron Pringle, Sammy Watkins, Donald Parham, seventeenth round sleeper. Justin Jackson, Irv Smith. As we enter into round eighteen, uh, Fang Banger saying, "Just get Taysom Hill." That's a pretty good. Uh, it's true. He's in the queue. Don't worry. <laughs> I have. Uh, what's sad is I don't have Jimmy G in the queue. <laughs> He's actually oh starting. Probably. Sh- eh. Oh, Gardner Minshew. He's got an opportunity there in Philly. I mean, you're crazy. I I would almost. Eh, you shouldn't take any quarterbacks. And you know, Eagles besides Hurts. You, you know. Uh, Andrew is a fan of the podcast because he just went Donald Parham yep. and, and Keelan Cole. And you're not taking Keelan like how many people in the wild just take Donald Parham and Keelan Cole to wrap up a best ball draft? Not many. Not if they're and that's got our DNA all, all over it. <laughs> all over it. Good good to know our DNA is somewhere, Ryan. Oh yeah. I I'm I spread our DNA on the regular. Alan Lazard goes. Salvin Ahmed goes. That's crazy. Round eighteen. I mean, you know, Miles Gaskin doesn't. I seems like the one, but Ahmed is certainly in the mix there. You're getting him in round eighteen. If there's one, I thing, mean, I, I guess I'm not high on it, but him being a number one running back and getting a decent number of uh, carries is pretty. Uh, it is certainly realistic. Tree Cohen goes. That's that's not a great pick, man. Event. If I watch the if I watch the game tape on myself, <laughs> the the area that I I probably oh and and breaking news, Ryan. Tyrod <laughs> Taylor has Screw been drafted. I'm out of here. Tony Jones goes. <laughs> Man, Cody's just drafting everyone we mentioned. OJ Howard goes, and I'm on the clock with a steal of the draft. Quez Watkins oh, in the 18th well round. Well done. So my final team: Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Miles Sanders, Najee Harris, Delvin Cook, Kareem Hunt, Keenan Allen, DJ Chark, Henry Ruggs, KJ Hamler, Devonta Peoples Jones or Donovan Peoples Jones, Deontay Johnson, Quez Watkins, Devonta Smith, Amon Ra, St. Brown, Pat Fryermuth, Cole Komet, and Gerald Everett. Feeling uh, pretty good about my team. Kramer, will you draft a quarterback in round eighteen? If Taysom Hill was a tight end in FFPC, getting one and a half. Oh, that would be pretty. Catch. He would be worth drafting. He I would might draft him. Uh, you know what? I'm rolling the dice with Ryan Fitzpatrick, Sam Darnold. Oh As you would God. say, Sean, your team's dead anyway if one, something happens to him. Ooh. So let's add to the 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 nice formula. We still don't know about Curtis Samuel, Sean. Do you still you feel any better about Curtis Samuel? 
Deami Brown sitting out there. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's add to my it's a fun st- stack. So I, I have two stacks to go with both my quarterbacks, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, we're done. Ryan Fitzpatrick, Sam Darnold to go with Nick Chubb, Christian McCaffrey, Naheem Hines, James Conner, Jamal Williams, receivers, Chris Godwin, Corey Davis, Marvin Jones, Tyler Boyd, AJ Brown, Brian Edwards, Nico Collins, Deami Brown, and Robbie Anderson. Tight ends, Austin Hooper and Logan Thomas. Let's go. go. Okay, Ryan, you had sent me over the final number of entries into the FFPC. Nineteen hundred dollar. Give me the credit boop, 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 giveaway. Boop, 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 boop. Hitting generate. The number is lucky number thirteen. Oh Jesus! All right, thirteen. And the winner is. And the winner is. Oh no shit! Not totally not fixed. Sitting in the thirteen spot. Uh, also drafting, drafting from the wherever Andrew Rob drafted from. Andrew Rob won. He, he is the winner of a Holy shiny shit. new nineteen hundred dollar oh FFPC credit. Remember to thank Daddy. Congrats. So wow, Andrew Rob has won a nineteen hundred dollar FFPC <laughs> credit and a Chase Young jersey off of Kramer. <laughs> that is quite the haul. This is why our podcast is the best. Giving out tons of cash, tons of credits. Again, you might not have won the nineteen hundred dollar credit, but that's pretty well. Still get the free twenty five dollars. Let's go. Congrats to uh Andrew and you know the dude is uh he's gr- he's grinded out many a draft. So uh, I'm glad to see a diehard one at Kramer. And it's always you know good what? to see uh, if, if see you don't, the DJ, the true DJ. Only. If you don't mind, I'll, I'll pull back the curtain and tell a quick Andrew story uh, as sure. we as we uh, we roll the credits and and thank the <laughs> uh, the audience. But uh, he was willing to go. He he's like, you know what? The Chase Young jersey it wasn't available in the store, but if you want to get some knockoff for me, that's fine. I was like, no, dude, a bet's a bet. Yep, I'm a man. We waited. He got the he got the real one. So. Enjoy. And now he's got a fucking dude. I, I wonder if he'll be in Vegas. I wonder they might still have some in-person uh, main event teams left. I do know this: yeah. if, if you are listening to this and you still want to participate in the FFPC main event, uh, super fun season-long managed tournament style, though, uh, I know they're there. It looks like they're going to be sold out by the end of Monday to probably today as you're listening. So, so if you're hearing this Monday morning or late Sunday, get in if you want. Uh, if you want one of those season-long ones. And uh, Andrew, slide into our DMs with your uh, with your email. We'll we'll get that squared away. And uh, yeah, if you're if you're gonna be out in Vegas participating in the FFPC, uh, come find me. I'll be there all day on Friday, 9:30 a.m. or maybe 9 a.m. I'm doing a best ball draft. Sean might be there with me. When we're, Friday? We're Friday morning. Okay. 9 a.m. maybe 9:30. Uh, and then I got a main event team with Dick Olson. I also got a main event team at so main event teams one thirty and six. So come find me. I'll be I'll be somewhere. Come find Kramer. Come find. I'll be medicated us. for sure. Yeah, again, if you're out in Vegas, hop into our Slack channel. We got a week one of Vegas room going. Uh, so if, if you're coming out, certainly hit us up on Twitter at Gambling Podcast or hop in the Slack. There's uh, tons of fun shit going on in the Slack all the time. DJs get to mix it up with each other. It's a grand old time. Again, download the app, enter your free picks for a chance to win one hundred thousand dollars. Hoping to uh, give that away to one lucky listener, or maybe more. I I got to read the rules, but uh, someone goes undefeated, you win one hundred grand. It's just that easy. And again, if you didn't win the FFPC thing, don't worry. You always got a chance to win merch Monday, giving out sweet gear every Monday. All you got to do is, uh, you know. Leave a rating review on the SGPN app or one of our feeds. Tweet us at Gambling Podcast with your review, and uh, you'll be entered to win. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. You wouldn't believe it, Sean. Andrew also drafted Chuba Hubbard. Kramer, let it.